I think the talent is really high. New season. The team next year is going to level up. New competition. There's a lot of good new ones. New dreams. God's uniform is something I've dreamt of myself. Maybe one day I'll be able to wear that uniform. The best of the best try out. We're not looking for stars or soloists. We're looking for a team. But only 35 will secure a spot. I've always wanted to be a Rams cheerleader, and I will do anything it takes to become one. To rise as the next Los Angeles Rams cheerleader. The Rams audition process is very grueling. The pressure is on. It's more about do they have what we need. The ups. It was just incredible. You can't get this experience anywhere else. The downs. We're spoon feeding them everything they need to know. Come on. I started to panic and tears of anxiety were I did shed a few tears. The struggles. When I got to the emergency room, that's when they told me, oh my gosh, you need to go into emergency surgery right away. From the first cuts. We'll tell you whether they stay or go. To the iconic uniform fittings. Those look good on you. See how nice that fits on yes, your shoulders. See what it takes to make it. We're feeling everyone's nerves happening. Stay there, don't move, don't talk. There's no breaks, it's all gas. You never know what can happen. We'll see you. This is the Los Angeles Rams cheerleaders making the squad. I always say a Rams cheerleader is a great community ambassador. Give them a little love. Can I hear for the Rams cheerleader? A Rams cheerleader is someone who is a great role model. And more importantly, just a great human being. So Here we go again. Here we go, another we year, go let's do it. Well, I love our ad audition process. I love auditions, period. Audition day is fun. How are you? Good morning. It's fun to see everybody come in. They're registering. They're warming up. They're stretching. They're getting ready for the day. I'm always looking for the total package, and I always think when you walk in the door, everything is about how you carry yourself and present yourself. A lot of people today. It's great. A lot of guys, too. I, I love it. Guys, I love yeah. that. We get, you know, big numbers of people there at our preliminary round. I wasn't prepared for how many people were going to show up. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many people here and they all look gorgeous. And I'm sure they're all going to dance gorgeous, too. I was definitely, like, intimidated a little bit because you saw the women that were in their outfits, ready to go, stretching, already practicing what they're going to do, turns, kicks, they're in their splits. There are some good ones. A lot. In the masses of people, we're just trying to spot you know, all those shining stars, and sometimes there's diamonds in the rough. We try to tell them, part of your audition process starting now, it takes direction. It is, you know? really big part. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the 2023 Los Angeles Rams Cheerleaders Auditions. <laughs> Um, my name is Keely Fembrez. I'm the director of the Los Angeles Rams Cheerleaders. I've been here 33 years. I'd like to say, I guess, that the Rams audition process is not as cutthroat as people think. Yes, it is a dance audition, but we want to make you experience joyful. Our choreographers are John Peters and Brittany Israel. I started as a cheerleader back in the early 90s, and I've worked for the team since 92. So as the manager, as the director, and just kind of grown in the program. We love the community, that is our goal, and we're happy to have you here today. Let's go. Our first round, our preliminary and semi-final day. It's a long day. This part of the process, it's more about do they have what we need? Because it is hard, it's a long two weeks, and a lot of hard work goes into it. I get so nervous for that. Because I've been there, I know, yeah. It's hard. We see some of the same people coming back. What we also love is to see people who may have auditioned last year, didn't quite get the job, but they came back here later, they put the time in, they trained, and they look like, all right, maybe this is their year uh, to get the job. <laughs> I'm 20. Wow, no longer a teenager. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you you so got much. these guys. Yes. Yeah. My name is Madison. I'm from Garden Grove, California. And what brings me back here? I have always wanted to be a Los Angeles Rams cheerleader. It's actually been so long. 
This has been my dream since I was very young, and I will do anything it takes to become one. Hold that knee up. Nice, Maddie, good job. So there's lots of excitement, especially for Maddie, because we're just so proud of her, and we can't wait to see what happens. Good, Maddie. I give her a lot of credit just for being able to allow me to grow in my dancing ability, but also like speaking ability and just my personal life. One, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. In terms of my state of mind, I'm of course nervous. Like that's always gonna be in the back of my mind just because the audition process is just, it's pretty nerve wracking in general. Seven and eight, take it one. But because I did this last year, I do feel more comfortable throughout the process just because I've gained so many different friendships, so many different relationships, and I'm just super grateful that I got this opportunity, and I just can't wait for what's to come. Hi, my name is Emily. I'm from Santa Clarita, California, and I am trying out for the Los Angeles Rams cheerleading team again for the second year in a row now. I was on the team last year and I had the most incredible experience and I want to do it again. This is my mom, her name is Agatha. She's the best. <laughs> I danced basically my entire life. My mom put me in because my older sister was too shy to take dance classes by herself. We're kind of a little superstitious, so. I'm very superstitious. Yeah, so literally, she can totally drive. She has a car and everything. But yes, I drove to the audition last year. She did not come this year, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I didn't come this year. I was like, Emily, I am not going. This is so stupid for me to Too go. old. Yeah, I'm way too old. <laughs> okay, what next? How long do I toast the almonds for? Like five minutes. She feels like I'm, like, I'm lucky for her. She's so. my lucky charm. She was like the Easy Bake Oven girl. New Easy Bake, yeah, it's the one for you. I've got boxes of toys in the closet that she's on the cover of. Oh, new Easy Bake. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> she still bakes. She does. She's a great, great cook. That's for sure. Straight ahead on LA Rams cheerleaders making the squad. Okay, this is the fun part. They come up to you physically and they whisper, you can stay or you can go home. We all stand there with hoping for the positive words. Everyone's looking around like, this is not going to be like my high school audition or my college audition. This is a, a, another level altogether. I think COVID definitely halted a lot of people and I think with no COVID restrictions now, we do have a lot of interest and people want to try and see if they can make this team and see what it takes to be a cheerleader for us. Here's what we're going to do. Our first round is the across the floor combination. We are looking for basic technique. People started noticing how much talent there was in that room, maybe more so than, than any other previous year. So right now, just be really, really careful and make sure you're not kicking somebody in the back of the head or anything like that, yeah? Okay, cool. Back up. It is more competitive this year, I think. Like, I feel like the talent is just, it keeps uprising. Go that way a little bit, because it travels that way. You know how it works. All right, here we go. Comparing last year to this year, it does feel different for myself. I think I'm just more prepared. NFL cheerleading is a precision dance sport. Someone who's coming to our auditions for the first time, they got nothing to lose. So, it's not your lyrical piece. Five. Six. Now they want the job, but the ones who have had the job and have had a taste of that and love doing it, they have more to lose. Cute. Wait, yeah, this is adorable. Yes. Say less. Say less. <laughs> Don't touch me. Okay. okay, the itinerary has been booked and planned. My name is Tyler, and I'm originally from Dallas, Texas. I was a rookie last year, so this would be my second year returning. One, two, three, two. If people were to ask you who Tyler is, I think it would be a very long-winded, complex answer. So I think that people would say I'm an intuitive, great friend, who's passionate, loves to dance, loves to be in the community. Wow, so pretty. I think that that really comes off not only in my dancing, not only in my characteristics as a teammate, but also just who I am as a person. I am a social media and content manager, both when you're cheerleading or when you're capturing content. It's really, really made me better at both jobs. And I love football, I love sports, I love to be on the field. And so being on the team this past year brought a different purpose back to my life. 
And I think that it really, really would be one of the best things to be able to be on this team for a second year because it really, really gave me so much to look forward to in the day and so much to look forward to in my life. Hey, I'm on my way right now to go try out for the NFL. I'm so nervous. I don't know anyone. I'm just like going by myself. Makeup, got the cool fit on, and I'm really excited. I don't really know what to expect though, so fingers crossed I'll let you know how the first round goes. Hi, I'm Shariya. I'm from Littleton, Colorado, and this is my first year auditioning for the Rams cheerleader team. Change is my life. It's my love, it's my passion, it's a lot of part of me. Yes, look at that smile. I would title myself as an entrepreneur, an influencer, and a dancer, and those three words would make my whole world come together. TikTok truly has my heart. I love TikTok dancing, and I'm fine being called a TikTok dancer sometimes. Hey! What made me come to audition to the Rams is well, fun fact, my mom is the choreographer for the Denver Broncos cheerleaders for like 30 plus years. So I chose to audition for Rams because I want to be a part of a team. I grew up on a team, so I've been dancing, competition dancing my entire life. And my mom, she's like, do it. She was the first person to say, yes, you should audition. This is your year, you're 24, go for it. I'm ready when you are. It's funny because I feel like you'd think I'd be a little more relaxed this year just because I've already been through the process, but this year I'm a little more nervous. <laughs> Hello? We're gonna get started, okay? We'll do that across the floor and they'll tell us right away whether or not we'll make it to the next round. While we're doing all this, there's going to be kicks, there's going to be leaps, there's gonna be turns. Nothing too stylish, but you know, a basic technique combination to make sure that you're properly trained to move on to the next round to do this job. It is a long process because in the preliminary round, we're going through hundreds of applicants to see their dance technique and we make an instant uh, elimination on the spot. So can you guys stay with us? Yeah. Um, and we'll tell you whether they stay or go, okay. Okay? okay? From here, we'll pare it down to about 150 or so, give or take, but we'll take about 150 and then move on into semifinals. But we're expecting a lot of talent to come through that door today. Coming up on LA Rams Cheerleaders Making the Squad. So obviously really well-trained, strong dancers, it's obvious. Congratulations, it's a yes, you're making it on to the next round. And then sometimes there's ones that are, unfortunately, an obvious, not quite ready. Thank you so much, it's gonna be a no for us this year. We'd love to see you next year. Yes, we're looking for good dancers and good performers, but first and foremost, we're looking for a team, and we're looking for team players. It's just like any job interview. You want to be professional, and all eyes are always on you. That's to be a team player, and it's really important when they're lining up to be a team player. So if you, you find someone isn't or is, make sure to make a mental note. Everyone, can you please um, pay attention? We're putting you on your starting mark. So our across-the-floor process is basic technique. JP. Yes, ma'am. If they start at this yellow line, will they end up here in the center? Center-ish. Center-ish. Boom, boom. Yeah. First thing we did was across the floor, which was a quick little combo that JP taught us. Are you ready? Let's go, everyone. Ready. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, Chapman in the blue shorts, yeah. Yes ready. to both. Yes to, to both. both. Yeah. The girl in front with the navy blue is a Chapman girl. Gorgeous. Super smart. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Congrats. You're making it to the next round. You can grab your number on the table. Really, it's about looking for that all around kind of team dynamic, literally on day one. Ready. Come on. Five, six, seven, eight. Brittany, Keely, myself, we're standing there and we're making that decision on the spot. Yes to both, or the front one's a little wild for me, but. There's no score sheets. There's no scores going into a computer. It's just basically our hunch. Is this person ready to move on to the next round? The boy, yes. The boy, yes, girl, no. I say no, but. I say no. Okay, then that's a no. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's gonna be a no for us this year. We'd love to see you back next year. Thank you. Thank you. Nobody gets a free pass. You don't just walk onto this team. You have to earn it. A lot of good ones. Yes. A lot of good talent. This isn't an easy job. It's a fun job, but it's not easy. 
dancing, you have to be fit, you have to have stamina, and your body has to be ready for it because it is a lot and it takes a lot of your body. My name is Brian. I am from Rancho Cucamonga, California, but currently live in upstate New York. There's a lot going on. Um, I mean, I'm 29 years old, living life, trying to have fun. Um, I'm in school right now, and also out here across the country trying to audition for my dream team. My first ever dance team was the Phoenix Mercury Hip Hop Squad, WNBA. And then after that, I was on the Phoenix Suns um, Solar Squad, which is NBA. I'm like a mama's boy at heart. And she, she actually came with me to this interview today. She's actually hanging out in the car. So just going to these games is gonna be so fun. And hopefully me being on the sidelines and y'all on the state and stands. How, 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 yeah. Yes. We're supporting you all the way. Uh, I just want this, this should just be like, just so rewarding to just come back home to my hometown and be able to dance. I'm wishing you all the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Love you too. Bed, travel, in and down, all the way around. If you were to ask me like 10 years ago what I would imagine my life being, this is honestly it. Hi, my name is Kendra, and this is gonna be my third year auditioning. Um, I was a two-year member before, and I'm really excited to be auditioning again this year. You guys did a really good job with this one. I feel like blessed is an understatement. You know, I've always had a dream of like teaching high school, being able to inspire the youth. Go, one and two. And then coaching a team afterwards, and it's all happening. Jenny, Jenny, go, one, two, three. So I feel like it is really unique and being a Rams cheerleader translates to this job just as much as I thought it would just because it is so community based. Hold. Oh. One, three, good. I love this school because everyone knows everyone. It's one big family, just how the Rams organization really is. There you go, good job. We're out in the community, we're doing these things. Even these kids, like it's a requirement for them to get a lot of community service hours. I wanted to show the kids that I work with that if you just do this in any aspect, whether it's work, whether it's in school, whether it's for your sports team, like you can accomplish anything. All right, love you guys. Bye. Bye. Next on LA Rams Cheerleaders Making the Squad. Everything steps up with every step of the way. It kind of went blank. The music starts and then you just like kind of go into autopilot. I'm in, a, I'm in pain, but I'm used to dancing through pain. It's completely tweaked my back and I'm excited and I feel confident that I'll be able to go out there and kill it. This is when like all the blood rushes to my feet. It's that nervousness. We're looking for fresh new faces. We're looking to see that the veterans that are re-auditioning have stepped it up. Congrats, it's a yes. You're gonna go ahead and get your number behind the table. But at the same time, we want to keep that consistent quality that the Rams cheerleaders are. Good job, good job. I say yes too, but I just, I want to yeah, make sure no, we're consistent. Coming to Calabasas, I was honestly just so nervous. It was really scary, obviously. I've done so many auditions, but I always am nervous. So I feel like coming in as a veteran, everyone's like, okay, like, it's not as scary. Like, you're gonna go out there, it's gonna be great. But I feel like every year I still have the same nerves, but I try to turn it into excitement. But at the same time, I think there's more pressure, right? I actually have experienced what I could potentially be losing if I not make it again. And I always say, it's a horse race. It's very different because you could feel the tension, yeah. do you not? You're right, I feel the it, it, I can't explain it until you're here. Like, yeah. Then you're like, oh my God. Today I feel the tension was at its highest in a long time, at least from my perspective. You know, if they're pretty good and they're ready for the next round, they might get cut in the next round, but we'll see. But at least I learned from you. Ready, five, six, seven, eight. It is very nerve wracking watching the judges tell people auditioning that they didn't make it past that round. Yeah, she's not ready. Again, going back to, do they have the basic technique, fundamentals and skills of being a dancer, but also how quickly can you pick up this choreography? You're either asked to stay and you'll get a wristband and a number, um, or you're asked to, to, you know, thank you for coming and hope to see you next year. Me, I got nervous at preliminary rounds and just the nerves play a huge factor. Some of them are gonna be very happy, many of them are gonna be disappointed. Ready, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. My across the floor felt really good. I felt confident with my technique. Um, I was smiling, making eye contact with the judges. Put it through. I'm fine with it, really, either way. My partner and I 
Luckily, both advanced. She was very sweet. Of course, I ran to the table to get my number, and um, it's always such an exciting feeling. The girl in the white was Maddie, who was one of our finalists yeah. last year. Yeah, from almost OCC. Uh -huh. Yeah. Almost. Ready. At first, I was a little hesitant, like going across the floor, just because I have been dancing, but this is like just a little bit different than what I'm used to. But after I finished, I was like, wow, like I feel really good. Like, you know, you just gotta keep smiling throughout the process, even if you mess up, you know, can't focus on that. You just gotta keep going through it and push. Congratulations, it's a yes. You can go ahead and grab your number behind the table. Come on, he's got it. As soon as I got up to the front and the music started to play and he said the 5, 6, 7, 8, I think all the nerves went away and I was just doing what I do best and just having a good time smiling and performing for the people that were watching. He's got it. He just needs to needs relax. To like, yeah. And he needs to okay, relax a little. Up. That's what I'm like, that's what I want to see. I think I did good. Um, I got a number, made it to the next round, so I think I did somewhat of a good job. <laughs> Ready. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight after I performed, like, how did it go? I'd probably see, like, say that it was good, but like, to be honest, I don't really like remember the whole thing, just because I think it's like the excitement and the adrenaline's pumping, that I'm just like selling the routine and like having fun with it. Both? Yes. Yep. Congratulations, it's a yes for us. You can grab your number behind the table. During my, uh, the prelims while we were learning the combination, I landed awkwardly and kind of tweaked my back. So I've been applying Icy Hot, taking ibuprofen, and using like a Theragun to really try and get in there. But I think it's just a pinched nerve, so hopefully I can work it out. Yes. Yes. Hearing the, yes, you made it to the next round is always just a feeling of sheer relief. No matter if you're a vet, no matter if you're a rookie, like you're just so happy to hear that you made it to the next round. And I was really proud of my performance, and I'm excited for semifinals. On the next episode of LA Rams Cheerleaders Making the Squad. Congratulations, first of all. I made it through the first round! Woo! So now I'm a semi-finalist. We'll have you audition in pairs in front of our judges. It's so exciting that you get to watch everyone go. And you get to see what you're up against and who's coming. I had the, a pretty hard curveball thrown my way. By the end of day, uh, it's been decided who's going to be one of our finalists.